Boots. Say it with me. Boots! Say it again. Boots! One more time like you mean it! Boots! Exactly. There is nothing in the male wardrobe that screams, I'm a tough son of a bitch, like a kick-ass pair of boots. And so today, we're going over five boot buying tips to help you pick your badass boots. So for this video, I wanted to show you a bunch of different styles of boots. The problem was that I personally only own three pairs of boots. I own my fries, I own a pair of coal hands, hands, Hans, that they don't make anymore. And my most recent purchase was from Kickstarter from a company called Thursday Boot Company. Well, I love these boots so much that I reached out to the company. They're a new up and coming brand and I figured I would do them a super solid. And so I asked them if they would actually send me a bunch of their boot styles because I really dug them for this video and they practically threw boots at me. Which means that all of the boots that I show, I'm gonna be able to list and link down in the description. One of the reasons why I love Thursday Boot Company, other than they're young entrepreneurs from New York that have a great story, for the style, price, quality, you really can't beat them. So I am thrilled to have them be a part of this video. Gentlemen, without any further ado, let's talk about five boot buying tips. Boot buying tip number one, identify what style of boot is your favorite. So now I'd like to go over a few of the different styles of boots that you have to choose from when you go shopping for your perfect pair. All right, so first up is what I would consider a work boot. All right, it's simple. It's sort of a mid top. It's not real tall, but it's not super low. It doesn't have the steel toe like a lot of the functional options are going to, but it still has a nice look and a nice feel. Very rugged, very masculine, but super casual. Here's another option that's a little bit taller. All right, it doesn't have the detail on the toe, but these are actually the boots that I own. Um, I love rocking these with a great pair of jeans in the fall. They're absolutely perfect, all right? They look even better when you break them in, okay? This is another work boot, but just a little bit more refined of an option. You also can find what I would consider sort of modern combat boots, all right? These aren't necessarily combat boots, but they've got that feel. You've got a cap toe. A lot of the ones you're gonna find out there on the market are going to have a lower profile, even a rounded toe box, which is nice. Typical combat boots are going to be a lot more structured and uh, chunky. These are a little bit more streamlined and sleek. Another great boot option is the Chelsea boot. Now, you can find them casual like this, or you can find them super dressy. All right, the big difference is going to be the sole as well as the leather finish. These happen to be suede, but you can find them in a high shine black, sort of like our next pair. The Chucka boot, all right? It's simple, it's clean, it doesn't have a bunch of busyness in terms of laces, but you can dress them up, you can dress them down, and depending on the style of Chucka that you actually go with, they are incredibly versatile. And the last style of boot I will show you is the motorcycle boot. Um, this is not a Thursday, this boot is actually one that I've had from Fry for about 15 years. <laughs> Whoops. So tip number one is identify what style of boot is going to be your favorite. Boot buying tip number two is determine what pair of boots will be most versatile for you. Like here's the deal. You might be like, yo, I love motorcycle boots. But when in reality, you never wear jeans. If you wear business casual every day of the week, then you probably want to go with something like a nice dressy chukka. Determine what style of boot is going to work best for you and your lifestyle. Because here's the deal. Boots were made for wearing, not sitting in your closet collecting dust. Boot buying tip number three is all about comfort. It is a myth that when you put on a new pair of shoes or boots that you need to break them in to be comfortable. Are they going to be stiff? Yes. Should they be uncomfortable? No. Ah, ooh, I think I'm gonna have a blister. Eh. Eh. That's no good. All right, they should be stiff and as they break in, they will get better. But if they are uncomfortable when you first put them on and take a few steps, my friend, they're not the right boots for you. Here's a little boot comfort pro tip. You got an old pair of running shoes laying around? Take out the insert and stick it in your boots. It's going to drastically improve the comfort of the boots that you're actually wearing. Now, one thing with the Thursdays that I will tell you, I don't need to do that with these. When I got this pair of boots, 
I put my foot in and it was comfortable right away. It was stiff, the leather needed to break in a little bit, but it wasn't uncomfortable. One of the reasons is because they use a cork midsole that actually forms to your feet. And so these things, super comfortable. Boot buying tip number four is buy quality. Boots are an investment, okay? Can you find cheap boots out there? Yes. Are these boots going to last you years? No. Quality boots are made of leather. Quality boots also have a Goodyear welt, okay? And what that means is basically the top or the upper is sewn onto the sole. What this is going to mean is that your boot is essentially going to be waterproof. So for those of you who walk in the rain and the snow, it is critical. And when I say critical, I mean super freaking critical that your boots have the Goodyear welt. Good quality boots are an investment. It's not something that you buy this season and you throw out next. You're going to have them for years or you can, which is bringing me to tip number five, which is buy what you can afford. Price is always going to be a factor when it comes to boots because they range from like $50 to like $500 and beyond for some of the higher end cowboy boot options and some of the fancier style brands. But the deal is you can find great deals on great boots. And that's one of the reasons why I love Thursday so much is because for the quality, they are by far and away probably the best bang for your style buck that you're going to find. Seriously, is there anything better than a great pair of boots. You throw on your favorite pair of denim, a simple shirt and a leather jacket. So what? Game over, done, gentlemen, boots. Wear them. Boots, love them. Boots are a men's style staple that when you wear them will make you feel just a little more studly.